Hey, what's up guys? BJ Zell back with a new weekly art challenge video review. Uh, this week I picked five of your designs from the Facebook group based around the word circus. So let's jump in and see what you guys made this week. All right, guys, so let's jump into the review. I've got five of them for you today. The first one up is Jamie Ann, and I think this is the first time Jamie Ann's been featured on the channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the group, Jamie. Uh, this one I absolutely love. It's really, really well done. I know Jamie said she and the, the group she posted that she's still trying to learn the, the brushes and the tools, but I think this one is really nice. It has a very muted aesthetic to it, and I just like the, uh, the overall look to it. I, the palette is really nice. The colors flow well together. Like I said, it has that kind of muted, subdued look to it. And I really kind of like the, uh, the sketch look to where it almost has kind of like that um, almost really loose unfinished look to it. I think that works really well for this. Um, obviously, if a lot of people on the channel are watching, you might be in the, the print-on-demand space. Uh, this one, I probably wouldn't use for print-on-demand, but this one would make fantastic art prints. Uh, I think this one looked really nice, you know, framed with a mat to it. And, you know, if you signed it down here, I think you could do a, a really nice run of prints on this one. And I think it's it's really well done. Uh, the composition's really good. I like the, the kind of just staring off to the side and the distance look on her face, just the the flat expression works really well with the, you know, the kind of flattened balloons down here and the dripping ice cream. It definitely tells a story and it, you know, kind of has that kind of morose, sad feel to it that I think works really well and the colors really highlight the, the feel to it. So congratulations. Good job, Jamie. I love it. Keep up the good work and post more of the group. I want to see what you can do. Uh, next up, we got Mark. And Mark's is really super cool. Um, I love that he took the whole ringmaster idea and kind of flipped it on its head and didn't do just, you know, a regular ringmaster. He's got the uh, robot ringmaster, which is super cool. Um, the shadows here, you can see the, the light source is coming in from this top left-hand side. And all the shadows line up really well. He's got, you know, the, the highlights up here um, and off to the side here. Same thing running up along this side with the hat giving off the shadow. So everything shadow wise is super well done. Uh, I like the the little rings coming down here, almost like the, the waves bouncing him up. Looks super cool. Um, hands look really good too. I know a lot of people struggle with hands. If you guys do, I have that previous video from the Let's Draw series that talks about drawing hands. And one thing I know a lot of people struggle with is this gripping look right here. And Mark did a really good job here. It looks natural. Uh, it actually, you know, looks like the hands holding the cane over here. So very good job there. And just overall, I think a fantastic job. Did a really good job picking colors and everything kind of flows well together. So I really, really like this one. So good job, Mark. I think this is the first time Mark's been on the channel as well. So uh, next one up is and I'm going to butcher this. Is it Lauren or Lorene? I don't know. So I apologize. Uh, but she's new to the group and posted this. And I love the panda. I love the expression. Uh, it's really, really great. This is one of my favorite things to do is, you know, to take an idea and combine two different things into one. And I think she did a fantastic job with this by, you know, throwing the clown hair on top of here with the hat and then the, uh, the collar down here. And then, you know, adding the, the makeup around the panda's eyes. I'm a huge fan of pandas. I think they, they do really well and look really cute on designs. And I think this one is, is really well done. Um, as far as shadows and highlights, it's got the light source coming in from this way. So everything lines up on the, uh, the highlights and shadows. The uh, hair here given a nice shadow down and around there. Um, I would almost drop out these shadows here uh, and just let the, the hair do the work there. Um, and maybe drop in a little bit more heavy shadow back in here on this side and around. Uh, but overall, I, I love the design. It's super cute. And, 
you know, it really is like an energetic design. You can really feel the the passion and excitement coming off of this Panda guy, and I think it works really well color-wise. Everything looks really good too. I kind of like the choice in the the orange hair. It's it's funny and cute, and adds a little bit more to it than if you went with like the uh, the crazy like red or in the rainbow color. I think the orange actually stands out really well. So. Really good job. Thanks for submitting that. Can't wait to see more from you. All right. And next up is Jay. Jay is so dope. Jay is a, uh, a super fantastic artist. He just joined over on the Keep Creating group. If you guys have not yet, head on over to Facebook. Keep creating a Learn, Draw, Share art community. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. That's where all these designs are coming from. So definitely want you guys to hop on over there. But um Jay's a fantastic artist. He's on Instagram too. Check him out, artist Jay Reed on Instagram. And I'll go ahead and throw up the uh, link to that in the description as well to check out his work. Um, this one is just so freaking good. I love it. Uh, definitely has a lot of character to it. I like kind of like the sly smile to it. Um, you can see here too, one of my favorite parts is just the, the textures and brushes that he used for the hair. Uh, like the shadow here just pops out so well. And you've got this hard angle here, which really gives that a lot of depth and dimension. Uh, and you can see when you start breaking down the actual, you know, technique used, there's not a, a ton of strokes in here, but when you pull back, I mean, it just gives that, that really three dimensional feel that I think works really well. I like the, the muted choice too, for the collar and then the face, it's a very kind of minimalist design, but with the, you know, the shadows here, it really has, um, a really good 3d presence to it. There's a lot that's done just by using the different shadows here and around, even with the eyes. I mean, everything has, you know, a space in the real world. It's got a 3D feel to it. And I think it's it's really super, super well done. Um, as far as perspective, this is one of the things to always consider too when you're drawing faces. And I do want to get to, you know, a drawing face tutorial for the Let's Draw series is to make a design more interesting, it's always better to have a face at an angle like this instead of, you know, just drawing a, uh, a face straight on. It's more interesting for the viewer to have this angled face like Jay has it here rather than drawing, you know, a face like this and having it straight on this, uh, you know, sideways perspective really adds to the design. So definitely practice on that. If you're not comfortable with drawing faces, the best way to do it is with that angle design. Like I said, I will definitely get to uh, making a new tutorial on doing faces as well as doing bodies and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, this is just so, so good. Uh, Jay, like I said, fantastic artist, super impressed with all his work and, uh, you know, really happy to have him in the group. Can't wait to see more of the stuff he comes up with and check him out on Instagram. Like I said, I'll link it below. And then last but not least, we have Kevin. And I know Kevin's been featured before and... The one thing I love about Kevin's work is the color palette that he chooses. It's a very muted palette from Design Design usually, and it just works really well. Um, I've talked about that before, but the thing I wanted to bring up with this design is this probably isn't what you would think about when you see or hear a tiger leaping through, uh, you know, a ring just because he went so kind of abstract with the, the tiger itself. Um, I've talked about in previous videos as well, you know, using reference photos and how to kind of block out the basic shapes that make up a, an animal or whatever you're, you're using for your reference photo. But honestly, this one, Kevin kind of threw all that out the window and I think it works so well, especially doing animals like this and doing cute animals, not relying on you know, the actual anatomy that makes up the animal. And this has almost got like a lima bean feel to it. Um, you can see the way that he worked in the, the feet here that works really well. And I just like the, the notion of the foot coming back here. He didn't go, you know, super um, literal with it. And just the way that the, the stripes come down and around and the belly, everything has this kind of nice fluid motion to it, which works really well. And like I said, designs like this, you don't always have to go literal. You don't have to make it look exactly like the animal. Um, and this one is, I guess, uh, a perfect example of what works when you throw 
all that away and just kind of work from scratch. And I think Kevin did a fantastic job on this. Uh, I've talked about it before with his, you know, it's stuff that you could see on tote bags and stuff that you could see on greeting cards. Um, this would be really cool if uh, Kevin, just like a, a little advice to you, if you did like a whole series of this, so um, you could go like a whole series of circus animals and have them in, you know, different poses and stuff like that. Or if you did like a, a whole zoo themed one, I could really see, uh, you know, this style working well across different animals. And I think it'd be really cool to see what you could do. Uh, maybe even doing like one of those alphabet uh, poster type of things to where, you know, you pick a letter, you know, A is alligator and B is bear, so on and so forth, and make each letter of the alphabet an animal and do it in the style. I'd really like to see what that looks like. And I think that, that you could make some pretty fantastic looking stuff by uh, by doing that. So, all right, guys, that is the five for today. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications. So last week's word was circus, and I apologize to Mark because I'm jacking his idea, but I was so impressed with the robot, and I thought, what a perfect word for this week. So this week's art challenge word is robot. We'll see what you guys can do. Post them over on the Facebook group. Keep creating a learn, draw, share art community. Link is in the description below. I'm going to handpick four or five of them next week and do another one of these review videos. So as for me, I can be found online, bjdell.com, as well as on Instagram and Twitter at bjdell. So until next time, keep creating.